Cyrus is a talented underground electronic artist from Atlanta, Georgia who has grown himself a sizable fanbase within just a couple years of making music. Hopefully this video helps you learn a little more about this artist. Cyrus was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, taking an interest in music from a young age. He took up piano lessons by the young age of 8 years old and that continued for a few years. He had a passion for consuming music as a listener around this time as well. The first music that entered his ears consisted of mainstream pop artists such as Justin Timberlake, Adele, Lord, Katy Perry, and even Justin Bieber. He recalls finding ways to download music for free online which wasn't as accessible at the time. Going into middle school, his passion for music stuck with him. He had stopped playing the piano but got involved with playing an instrument in the school's band. His taste in music also shifted at some point in middle school and he began to listen to mainstream rap as opposed to pop music. A couple of these rap artists he enjoyed include Lil Uzi Vert and Playboy Cardi. By the time Cyrus entered high school, he quit playing in the school band and playing music altogether. He said it was just typical teenage rebellion against what his parents wanted him to do. Although he was no longer playing music himself, he did continue passionately listening to music. It was at this point underground music started to pique his interest and he began listening to artists such as Black Cray, Lil B, Lil Peep, and Lil Tracy slash Young Bro. Him taking an interest in the underground is a key point in his story. Cyrus was a senior in high school when the pandemic hit and they cancelled school. Around this time, Cyrus said his interest in the underground led him into the hyperpop scene and he was inspired to try making music similar to this himself. A few of these artists he enjoyed included Capo XXO, Of One, and Me Computer. With a lot of free time on his hands during the lockdown, Cyrus decided to start making music. He saw a tutorial on how to make hyperpop and that led him into downloading the music software FL Studio. Cyrus continued watching tutorials on how to use the software and improve his mix. Cyrus released his first song in March of 2021. He went on to upload a few more songs, but eventually these first few uploads would be taken down. The oldest song on his SoundCloud is the song titled Flaunt You that was released in May of 2021. Cyrus said this song isn't his best, but he feels it's a good representation of where he first started to find his sound. Cyrus said all the tracks he still has public he personally enjoys or at least considers them tolerable to listen to. Cyrus originally only uploaded his music to SoundCloud until late 2021 when he noticed he had a few songs with a few hundred likes. He then put his music on all streaming services and said it was a slow growth on other streaming services but it came eventually. When Cyrus first started making music, he already had some friends locally who uploaded music to SoundCloud but weren't in the scene he would come to be a part of. Cyrus started going into music related discord servers and making friends with other artists he found match well with him creatively. One of his earliest friends in the scene is the artist known as Techna. The first song Cyrus found getting him some attention was the song titled Issues released in September of 2021. This song got attention on TikTok and motivated him to start posting more but he still wasn't taking music too seriously. Although he was just making music for fun at this point, he continued to dive further into the scene and meet new people. Also in September of 2021, after a few months of making music, Cyrus decided he wanted to start making beats as well. He said he felt he was comfortable enough on the software at that point and just had to watch a few tutorials specifically tailored to beat making. Cyrus was uploading his beats to YouTube when the artist known as Barely Human reached out to Cyrus for an exclusive custom beat. After sending the beat, Barely Human asked Cyrus to do a verse on the song and this song ended up being titled Death City. Cyrus said Death City was his next big song getting a lot of attention again with help from TikTok but a lot more this time around. Cyrus and Barely Human quickly became close friends and went on to create the collective known as Fab Fantasy together. Cyrus said it was just him and Barely Human for a while but eventually they went on to add more members. Cyrus said all the members of the collective are just artists that him and Barely Human genuinely enjoy. Cyrus mentioned around this time his music began to change. He was shying away from the scene sound but his music would still fall into the electronic category. He was listening to a lot of Crystal Castles and that influence shined through in his music at the time. In June of 2022, Cyrus performed his first show in Houston, Texas. The show was put together by the artist slash promoter known as Baymac. Cyrus and Barely Human performed a set together along with other artists doing their own sets on the lineup. Since then, Cyrus has gone on to perform a handful of shows and has more planned for this year. Currently, Cyrus has been listening to music different to what he's listened to or made himself in the past as a way for him to grow as an artist. A few artists he enjoys as of recently include Alex G, Black Marble, and Fog Lake. Cyrus said if you compare the lyrics in his new music to Fog Lake lyrics, you'll see a clear influence. As far as plans for the future go, Cyrus hopes to continue growing Fab Fantasy. Him and Barely Human have plans to turn Fab Fantasy into a label. He also hopes to embark on a tour sometime in the future. Ultimately, his main goal is to just keep making music he enjoys. He's a great artist with a bright future. Well that's all for this video, big shout out to Hopeless for the edit, and please subscribe for more mini documentaries on various underground artists.